community contributions on YouTube. What are they? Why would I care? And if I do care, how do I enable those? Well, stay tuned and we'll definitely find out. Welcome my apprentices. I am your master Darth Stardust and I'm here to talk to you about something really special. It's called community contributions. What it is essentially is a way built into YouTube for people to help translate or to give subtitles to people's videos. And the reason why I want to talk about this is, is because I know a lot of people from Mexico and they only speak Spanish. I speak Spanish as well and I want to be able to reach them and, and make my videos good for them. So essentially the community contributions is a way for you as the viewer to support any to any small YouTuber that, that doesn't have a lot of time to do the translations or doesn't know a certain language but wants to be able to, to connect with a different culture. Now we're going to go to my computer and I'm going to show you essentially how you would be able to do that. All right, so we're here on my computer. Let's say that um, I'm from Mexico. My name's Juan. And uh, to be able to do this, you do have to be logged in to YouTube here. Um, so this is another account that I have from another email and I'm logged in here but the, let's say that this is Juan's account from Mexico and he's uh, um, tr he likes the video and he's watching oh this is the the best video and I just want to share it with some of my friends but there's a problem they don't speak English I speak English a little bit um, enough to probably make some translations um, so let's say that I want to be able to um, share those contributions. So uh, let, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Um, this way, the first way would probably be um, if the YouTuber has enabled the uh, contributions but haven't, hasn't really put a, something in the description like I have. This is the link that I have in the, the description. Um, so let's say that that's what's happened. And... Um, they, they haven't put the link in there so let's go to add translations and you click these little three little dots here add translations and I already did kind of a little bit of, of demonstrating here uh, on another take so it'll take you to this um, this screen here now right now it's just saying English um, there is an uh, auto-generated thing and it usually is here once once I post a video once anyone posts a video and you click these um, but we don't want to actually make a transcription we want to make a translation um, you can do transcriptions as well um, you can make say I said that in the video and so I just I put that there and we can come come to a different part of the video we can type something else and it'll automatically go to that time point and put something on there. Um, and it works the same way for translations, um, but that's transcriptions, which basically takes your words in the video, puts them into um, written words. But what we can do here is go to switch language, pull this drop out, down into translate into, and we're going to search Spanish or another language if you so prefer. Um, I just usually click the normal Spanish, set language, um, and here we go. Let's find a point about right here, because I know what it says here. Um, I say something about putting up my sensitivity, um, or bumping down the sensitivity because it was too much. So right there, that's what it says. Let's say... And that in Spanish, more or less, would be something like... Oh, we lost it here. Okay, over here. And that would be more or less something like... Voy a, voy a bajar... La sen, sensibilidad. The sensitivity of the mouse. Um, that's generally what we're saying there and we can do that and click on the plus sign and that's automatically going to 
put it up there. And you can see that in the video. Way of a hard lesson to give you that. There you go. Now, obviously, it doesn't line up because I wasn't making like being paying too much attention to it. Obviously, it's even going. Th the audio is going through my headphones, and I have my headphones up. Um, but after that's finished, let's say we have all of that here. We have it filled out. Um, you would click over here on contri uh, submit contribution, and that's how you can do that. Um, now, if you are a YouTuber and you want to take advantage of this. Um, let's go back to my account here. This is actually my YouTube channel. Um, and let's say that I want to upload a video. You would go and do this the, the normal way. Select something to upload. This one's pretty quick. And, and then we can go to advanced settings. This is the way that you, you allow this. In advanced settings, you see this part here. Community contributions. You'll, you'll do your description and everything like that. And then click over here in Community Contributions. There's a little checkbox. You can go ahead and check that. Um, and so once that's checked and we we upload the video, then everything's going to be done. Um, and so we can go back to Translations. This is what I do. I always put my description. And the description is already here in English. And so we'll, we'll add a new language. I always have to type in Spanish add language and I put the translation here already so the translation in the title and the description is already done usually um, I would just need help with community contributions and this is a way that people um, will actually be able to help you with that go to the creator studio you do it in the beta or in the, the normal studio you can go to transcriptions and come up to this bar in community and it'll give you this link. This link here you can copy and paste. And what I've done is I've put it in the description of my videos. And this is this brings us to the second way of doing that. If they've if the YouTuber has already gone through the the uh, the trouble of putting it on there, you can go ahead and click on this link. Um, and the good thing about this way to do the contributions is, let's say you've already done a video and you feel so inclined to do more. You can actually. This is all of the. These are all of the videos that I've uh, put up here, and I can actually go on and click on whichever one that I want, and I can actually go ahead and and do that as well. Um, you can translate and everything like that. Transcribe, and so that is in a nutshell how you do community contributions on YouTube um, and it really helps for those uh, youtubers that are just getting started that don't have a lot of time or a lot of resources to hire somebody to, to help them um, and it's a way for them to com connect with other communities as well maybe they don't know a language at all but they really want to be able to, to, to show videos to uh, for example I don't know French but I want to show my videos to somebody in France and I could potentially become friends with that person in France or, or whatever and they'll be able to understand the videos because somebody else who knows French and English or Spanish and English whatever language it is has already gone through and helped us make that the good thing about this as well is not one person doesn't need to do all of the work somebody can go in one line and add this little part here this or this is all the work that I wanted to do. I just wanted to put the or, or whatever it would be in another language. And then somebody can come in with their own account and actually see um, what is missing and see where they can actually put together. Or they can edit something that's already there that doesn't actually make sense. And YouTube has actually put up uh, defenses with, with Google Translate to, to make sure that you're, you're getting more or less what you're saying um, in the translation. So it's a really cool tool and I hope you guys have, have seen some good from it. So there you have it guys, how to enable and 
contribute to community contributions on YouTube. I hope this helped you guys out. Um, there's a really good video that actually has a lot more detail on this topic. It'll be up here. Um, be sure to click on that if, if you're interested. Leave a comment down below some of the types of benefits that you've seen from community contributions, whether it be in your own channel and other people's channels. But anyway, thanks for the support, guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. There's definitely more content coming your way. So I hope you guys have a nice day, and may the force be with you, always.